the John Wade Novices Handicap Hurdle is next. A smallish field for this one. So with three miles as well, 0-140 at the top. We've got Wolverine for Darren Thompson, Incomprehensible Leon Van Rinsburg, Piazza del Duomo, Martin Leedham, Frog March, Paul Rhodes, Calaf Akers, Thomas Rogers, Mind Solution, David Robertson and Anisa Bunny, Stu Gray. And I'm in the wrong colours again. I'm just getting used to it by now. Last week, for it to happen, it won't happen again after today. Well, to me, it might happen tomorrow, I suppose, but <laughs> not after tomorrow, they're away and racing. And Anisa Bunny leads them into the first. From Piazza del Duomo and Frog March. And Wolverine, the top weight, wanted to class horses in this with it being an auto 130. Anisa Bunny is in the lead, the pace is a little slow. I didn't expect it to be over three miles. Mind Solution has now come through to take it up for David Robertson. So Mind Solution then in the lead from Anisa Bunny and Calaf Acres. Frog March on the outside of them and in between them he is incomprehensible. Just at the back and widest on the track, Wolverine and Piazza del Duomo, the novice, as they head to the next. In fact, they're all novices, aren't they? The John Wade Novices Handicap Myrtle. So Mind Solution in front. Do just like the novices? Oh, I must admit, I don't think they are particularly good as they get the next because the idea of novices in real life is that they're young horses learning their trade and they're supposed to be not quite as good as the older horses, but of course, there's no such thing in the ESO world. And I know a lot of the big trainers just lump their best horses in as novices because there are more group races for novices than there are for open really there's not so many handicaps and it's easier to pick up group wins I think they've got to do one of three things with novices either completely scrap them all together which is obviously not going to be very popular with a lot of people wouldn't be my choice either the second option is to make every single novice race a handicap but at least then they're interesting choice number three is to say that novices have got to be five year olds and six year olds and open horses have got to be seven year olds and up. Oh, I suggested that years ago and I got shouted out. So, I've got to do something though because at the moment the novices are just becoming the same five or six top trainers week in, week out. I personally look at the races and I very rarely run my novices in the novice races unless they're really good, apart from the four year olds, of course, because they've got a better chance in the handicaps. Mind Solution continues to lead from Wolverine. It's a bit late to be worried about all that sort of stuff now, though, isn't it? Because we haven't managed to sort anything out change-wise for next season and everybody will disappear tomorrow night. We won't speak to anybody again for the six months. So, that's it all get done now. Mind Solution in front. From Wolverine second. And incomprehensible third. And Calaf Acres, Frog March and Piazza del Duomo. With finally Anisa Bunny at the back. Uh, past the midway point, Mind Solution is a good five lengths clear. So they get over their seventh. They're all safely over. Yeah, Mind Solution clear. Incomprehensible second, Wolverine third. Piazza del Duomo is fourth. Then Calaf Acres and Frog March, and finally Anisa Bunny. At the back as they get over the eighth, which they're all safely over. And these are Bunny. I'll we'll have to turn into the Duracell Bunny if he's going to win this, I think. But the form that Mr. Gray's in, who knows? They race past the stand and race away for one more circuit of the track. And Mind Solution continues to lead. From Incomprehensible in second, Piazza del Duomo has now moved up into third, then Calaf Acres is fourth, Wolverine fifth, and Nisa Bunny has gone past Frog March. And Bunny beating the rabbit at the moment. Bunny beating the rabbit, Bunny beating the frog. <laughs> anyway, it's my solution in the lead. It's been a long season. Incomprehensible is second, Piazza del Duomo is third, big gap then to Calaf Acres, Wolverine, and Nisa Bunny, and finally Frog March. the ninth. And they all seem to be hurdling well. 
Fine solution, bowled a lot happily in the lead, four to jump. Incomprehensible looks to be going ominously well for Leon Van Rensburg in second. Piazza to Del Duomo in third, but he's three clear. Off Calaf Acres and Top White Wolverine. And Nisa Bunny and Frog March is getting a little bit detached and he's surely out of it with three to jump. And solution over the third last in front, incomprehensible now starts to make a move, Piazza Del Duomo is going to try and call that on the outside and tries to get first run on Incomprehensible and he's probably going to try and cut across and squeeze the Leon Van Rensburg horse out, there's two to jump still and it's Mind Solution and Piazza Del Duomo from Incomprehensible who's just caught a bit flat footed as the two leaders make a move, they're past the three furlong pole, they've still got two to jump and three furlongs to race, so plenty of time for Incomprehensible to get back into it, difficult to see anything else getting into it though, as Piazza Del Duomo hits the front, Piazza Del Duomo then coming down to the second last, clearing the lead by two as Mind Solution starts to backtrack over the second last they go, Incomprehensible now starts a run in third but it's Piazza Del Duomo who's clear racing down towards the final furlong on the final fence, and P or final flight and Piazza Del Duomo who's been messing about chasing for the last few weeks, skips over the final flight, clearing the lead and leads racing up the hill then towards line Incomprehensible is flying but Piazza Del Duomo head in his chest brings a bit of a surprise, Piazza Del Duomo wins it from Incomprehensible Mind Solution, then Wolverine and Can of Acres and Nisa Bunny, and finally Frog March. And Piazza Del Duomo. Bit of an upset. Although the odds wouldn't suggest that. Wins that quite comfortably. Wins on the first week and the final week of the season then. Piazza del Duomo, I do believe. So Piazza del Duomo, the winner from Artelit. I'm incomprehensible, Leon Van Rensburg second. Mind Solution, David Robson was third. Wolverine, the top weight for Darren Thompson, fourth. And Calaf Acres for Thomas Rogers was fifth. <laughs>